Okay. I'm Bob Crager. Uh, I started the, at the college uh, in, I think, fall of 70. I think the main reason why I came here was I, I noticed there was a new college. In Defiance College, I didn't offer anything that I really wanted. And I had a more mechanical background. In fact, uh, when I first got out of the Navy, the employment service in Lima sent me down to the foundry for uh, an apprentice program that was getting ready to start up. And with that background, I decided, well, maybe I can uh, increase on that and get you know some mechanical knowledge on top of what I received with my apprenticeship as a millwright. I feel that my education through Northwest it prepared me for my uh, Navy Reserve time, whereas I went in in advanced pay grade, and I also got a commission two years after I went back into reserves. And I feel the uh, education I received here prepared me for that. I initially served in 58 and I got out in 61. I had two uh, years of reserve time yet. And then I got out of the reserves about 16 years, I think it was, because I was raising a family. And uh, when President Reagan got in office, he uh, started beefing up the military. And I happened to get a call wanted to know if I'd be interested in going back into reserves. And I said, heck, I've been out for 16 years. They said, that don't make any difference. You still got time to get your retirement. So I went ahead and uh, re-upped in the reserves. And I, in total, I had 22 and a half years in the Navy. Wow. And again, like I tell everybody, education won't hurt you. It's going to help you. I was all over the uh, Atlantic, I mean as far as up into Greenland, I went through the Mediterranean, Red Sea, Persian Gulf, I was down in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, I was a, uh, actually when I was in the reserves, I was a uh, training liaison officer down there after I got my commission, but, but I was all over the uh, east side and I spent a little time in Korea, so I, I've been around. I figured that uh, I really had a long-range plan of possibly going into engineering at the foundry. And I felt that, see, I had benefits through the military to go to school, so I wanted to use that up also. So I figured it was a new college. It'd be interesting to see how things were. And uh, I knew I could probably, uh, you know, study it. I mean, I was in my, I'll see, 30s. Yeah, I was in my 30s already, and I knew I could go through it okay, But because that past program really prepared me for going back to school. I, I felt, I felt right, I filled right in. I mean, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I wanted to, you know, gain more education, especially in the mechanical field, and I felt down the road I might need it. And since I had the benefits of the military, why not? And I'm glad I did, because, like I said, it, it stepped me up when I went back in the uh, reserve program. Getting a commission is what really prepared me for, because I had the knowledge. And I think uh, another thing helped me, I had, I, I could speak in front of people, which I did a lot of that. When I got commissioned, I was a uh, engineering repair officer. And that had to do with my education. I'm really retired, basically, but I'm real active in the Veterans of Foreign Wars. In fact, uh, I just finished up my National Deputy Chief of Staff uh, position, which I'll probably get appointed again, because I do a lot for the uh, veterans. In fact, the last, uh, last month and a half, I probably gave out six citations for different people that has promoted the uh, patriotism to the uh, national anthem. You know, it's a good two-year college. It's a good stepping stone to go further. And in the days, you know, the way things are today, you need a education, especially electrical, mechanical, anyway, because you, you know, a lot of automation out there, and that's what automation is: is electrical, mechanical, most of it, like robots, for instance. I'd say most of it, uh, you're uh, 
workforce, you know, probably be electrical anymore. Well, electrical mechanical combination, really.